I'm gonna do a continuity check and voltage check on my 11,000 watt generator and my inverter. Here on my 11,000 watts, I'm doing a continuity check. You see my line one in neutral, line one and line two, those are my hots. And my line one in ground. And you see I'm getting continuity on all of these. And my line two in ground here, and I'm gonna check over. Uh, so now I'm gonna do a voltage. My line one and line two got 246 volts. My line one in neutral, 123 volts. And my line two in neutral, 123 volts. And then I'm gonna do my line one in ground, 123 volts. And my line two in ground, 123 volts. So now I'm gonna go to my inverter this 2000 surge watts as you can see I'm checking my hot and neutral I don't have nothing it's open and my hot and ground it's open and neutral and ground is open so no no connection nowhere so I thought maybe my ground and common uh, would be connected but check this out when I turn on the voltage I'm gonna crank this up <clears throat> I'm gonna do a voltage check. So you got your hot and neutral 124 volts, your ground and neutral 62 volts. That's why it gets confusing at my hot and ground 62 volts. And you see over here on this side, you got 62 volts, and then your hot and neutral 124 volts and your ground and hot 62 volts. And this one was really confusing. So if you guys watching this video and you can explain this, uh, let me know, especially on the, where I'm getting 62 volts and how this works. So if this video helps, subscribe to my channel. Also, you could purchase any of this stuff in the description below. Thank you.